Hi everyone, in this short video we're going to go ahead and show you how to add version control to a project we've already created inside a Python virtual environment using cookie cutter. You'll see I'm in the VN demo environment. I have my directory, it has my virtual environment all set up. I've already installed cookie cutter and I have gone ahead and installed the data science template from cookie cutter into my code directory. As you can see, everything is right there. So the first thing I want to do is go back to the core here and I'm going to create a new Git repository in this directory. So I'm going to go ahead and say git init. I'll go ahead and check to see if there is a git ignore file. There is not. So I'm going to go ahead and create this git ignore file. The touch command on Unix or Linux, it just touches a file. Typically it updates the modified or, or access time of the file, the timestamp. If it doesn't exist, it creates it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a git ignore file. I know what I'm going to be using in this project. So to create my git ignore file, I'm going to go to gitignore.io. I know that I'm going to be using Python. I know that eventually I'll be using Jupyter Notebooks. <clears throat> uh, I am using VEND as well, so I don't want to get any of that extra stuff stuck in there. And I think for the moment we are generally good. So I'll go ahead and create. It creates this wonderful file. I will copy this, go back to my directory, go ahead and edit my git ignore file, insert, paste that in there, and go ahead and save. Right. So this is Vim, an editor. If you want to get out of Vim, always press escape, colon, uh, and then Q if you just want to exit, WQ if you want to write the file to disk and exit, or Q and an exclamation point if you want to exit without saving any changes. So we're going to write and quit. And we are pretty good to go at this point. So to initialize my repository, I'm going to go ahead and type git init. My repository has been initialized. First thing I'm going to do is add my git ignore file and do an initial commit minus am added dot git ignore file. Now that I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and basically add everything that's not in the git ignore. I can go ahead and look at my status. Fantastic. We can scroll up here. Okay, lots of new files git commit minus am added many new files initial structure established okay git status we'll go ahead and take a look on branch master nothing to commit the working tree is clean great i would like to push this up to a remote destination whether that's github or gitlab i tend to use gitlab so I am going to pop on over here to GitLab. You'll see I'm already logged into GitLab.com. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project at this point. And as soon as GitLab catches up with me, we'll go ahead and enter the name of there. We are going to call this something along the lines of VN Demo. That seems to be the, the name of the day. So I will call this my Python Virtual Environment Demo. It gives us a nice slug. I'll do this in my own group. Well, actually, I think I will do this for CS6010 data science programming. We'll call it a short demo that uses Python with VN cookie cutter and Git. Fantastic. We'll make this private. We'll create the project. And here we go. So I already have a repository created locally. Uh, so all I need to do is push an existing folder. You'll see I've been in that folder. I've already done the init command. I've done the add. I've also done this commit. So that leaves two commands. First, this git remote add and this git push minus u origin master. The first thing is git remote add. Uh, you will see if I type git remote, it shows me there is nothing. I will do this. Now if I type git remote, it tells me there's a remote called origin. If I do a git remote minus v, it tells me what that origin is. This is fundamentally the remote repository where we want to store everything. I can add as many remotes as I want. I can also remove as many remotes as I would like. Now to push to that remote, we are going to go ahead and say git push minus u origin master. That means push my current branch to the remote called origin on the branch master and update my local info so that this branch tracks. What that means is Git will now match my local master branch against the remote master branch uh, at the remote called origin whenever I just use a push or a pull or a fetch command. So I'm going to go ahead and say that git push minus u origin master 
right? Branch master set up the track remote. And if we go back, we can refresh our remote repository and you'll see this is wonderful. Uh, I have my code. Inside my code is the readme. The only problem I have here is my readme is one level deep. So I'm gonna go ahead back here. I'm gonna use the git move command, say move the readme file from the code directory into the current directory. I'm gonna make a commit. And I'm gonna go ahead and push that. And I will go back to the top level of my directory. Now the readme is here. You'll see code, a demo of cookie cutter with VN, and it explains our whole file structure. This is the default readme, and you can add anything to this that you want. So here we go. Everything is set up. Uh, it's well. It's running, and we can start any work we want using Jupyter, Jupyter Labs, notebooks, Python, anything as we move along this process.